Hey everybody, this is just Steve Payne and back for another review. Um, I'm doing a slightly different one today than the way I've done any review before. So um, for this review, I'm actually just going through a pump product that I've tried. Um, disclosure is I've only tried this once, so I have to be fair and admit that because usually when I do my uh, reviews on something, I've done it multiple times to see some type of consistency in the product. Um, if I've used it twice, and I've got great effects twice. Don't feel like I need to do a third one to review it, but say I've had two different type of feelings. I try to make sure I have a consistency in it and do it a third and a fourth time and see where we go from there. Um, for today's product, I don't actually own the product, the actual box itself, but um, I was lucky enough to get um, a Hydraulics by Axe and Sledge given to me at a supplement store in a couple of doggy bags. This one I'm saving for a friend of mine, that's why I didn't take it for a second time to give it a better kind of review. But um, the reason that I use pump formulas, so this isn't the only one that I use, I've got a couple of others that I use as well, is because as awesome as some of these Team Junkie experiences are, the reality is there's seven days in a week. If you train four to five of those straight days, you don't want to be using Team Junkie products more than maybe once a week. Just the God honest truth. If you use it too many times, the magic is no longer there with those ingredients such as DMAA, DMHA, Kigliana for kind of all that lovely jazz. You want to make sure you have either nothing for your other days, whether that's just a cup of coffee, um, a very low type of daily driver pre-workout, something with maybe 250 milligrams of caffeine, nothing that 400 crazy. Um, or a pump product. And you can maybe mix a coffee of a pump product or a pump product with a daily driver. For my off days of the Stim products, um, I'm usually using Nova Neuro or Mansports, their one. Uh, I was able to use the Hydraulics from Axis Sledge just to see what the difference would be. And considering it was free, why not? Um, first and foremost, let's actually start with the flavor. So, it's an odd one. Um, I didn't really get told what the flavor it is, but I remember the girl at the store saying something about Swamp Beast, and when I Googled it, the Swamp Beast is a specific flavor. I think it's a limited edition one. I might be wrong. Then it's apple and berry. You almost don't taste it at all, which is a nice change, because you could put this in 500 mils of water, and it has a hint of apple, a hint of berry, no real power to it. It almost just feels like you're tasting nothing. So that's a nice change from having too much flavor packed in as a lot of these pre's are, or even worse when you have one just tastes like dog shit. Um, like the one I reviewed of Assassin, the pineapple mango. Awesome product, phenomenal. Fucking dog shit flavor, but with that much stems, obviously. Now, flavor, fine, drink it. You're not really gonna taste much. Then it goes onto the label. Um, I don't have the box in front of me, but I was able to research it. I made sure not to look at what the ingredients were, what the, I guess, pump products were inside of it, because I wanted to see if I don't know, can I guess? And I was able to guess some of the ingredients. I figured obviously there'll be L-citrulline. Um, it's got a nice dosage of five grams of pure L-citrulline. Um, you've got one thing I wasn't sure is with Nova Neuro and the Mansports pump product, which are two of the ones that I regularly use, they don't have any beta in it. Um, this is different. This had beta and I straight away noticed. So it's it's not a hefty dose. It's 2.4 grams, but you notice it. The other one I guessed straight away was agmatine sulfate, which is one of my favorite ingredients. I don't know why. It's just whatever a product has it. I can feel it. I can notice a difference without it and I can notice a difference with it. Okay, let's go through the actual panel of it. First, we've got L-citrulline, the most standard ingredient you'll ever see in a pump formula. It's great for just blood flow, for pumps, for general athletic performances. You've got five grams of it. It's pure L-citrulline, nice dosage. You have glycerol at three grams. Once again, another great pump formula, really gets the blood flow going. You've got beta here at 2.4 grams. Nice dosage. I'm the type that prefers subclinical dosage because I tend to find the tingling is better. It's weird. I don't know what it is. I just haven't had great tingles from the four grams 
And sometimes I don't really give a fuck if there is or isn't any tingles. Next, you've got l taurine which helps with muscle fatigue. You've got two grams in it, nice dosage. Next, you've got magnesium creatine chalate. Um, that's at 1.5 grams. It's not in too many pre-workouts. It's essentially just creatine monohydrate linked with magnesium, and it works in a synergistic way to essentially just give it more punch for the creatine. Uh, tends to have some type of performance benefits, whether you feel it or not. There's some studies out there, but it's hard to know whether it works or doesn't. It's more of a new age product. Um, you've got agmatine sulfate at one gram. Once again, one of my favorite ingredients. I love it. Um, I prefer it at around 1.4 grams. That's what the main sports one has. And I just find that that's my sweet spot. But one gram is still great. Better some than none. Uh, you got nitrosogene at one gram. That's great for blood flow. Another ingredient I love that I can straight away notice when it's in a product. And then to top it all off, you've got an acetyl l tyrosine at 250 milligrams, which is more of a nootropic kind of element. So you can tell that Axe and Sledge designed this to be not just like a raw pump formula, but also a slight nootropic formula, which I think is the direction a lot of these companies are going with. If you have something that's going to give you good pumps, it doesn't have any of the heavy stimulants, doesn't have caffeine, doesn't have anything like that. It's nice to have also that focus element. All right, so that's the label. Let's go through the effects. First and foremost, if you're buying this, you're buying it for the pump. You're not buying it for the focus. The focus is just, I guess, a benefit. How were the pumps? I found them to be really, really fucking good. I had no expectations of this. I know it's Seth Ferrosi, I believe, who uh, is the creator of the company and everything like that. He's quite a big name in the YouTube scene. Fucking great shape, great build, great strength, you know, real fucking solid athlete. And um, But a lot of these products that you get from the well-known stars, I guess, of the fitness industry, they tend to be very underdosed and they tend to be, if I'm just being flat out honest with you, pretty shit and they just, they go by their name. So you're getting a product because it's got a certain name to it. This was different. This was a legitimate product. You feel the pumps and I mean, they're painful. Like to give you an example, I did, I did like maybe three to four sets and I believe I did chest for it. Uh, I should have reviewed it a little bit earlier, but it was just time constrained. So I had to review it now. Um, and man, I felt blood in my body instantly. It was almost so painful. I couldn't get as much work in as I wanted to, which sounds like a bad thing, but I guess it's a good thing because in the end, you want to have a good workout and effective workout. You don't want to have a two hour long workout. There's no need to get injured. No need to overtrain. The pumps were great. The sweat was also a little bit elevated. Um, I'm not used to getting this much sweating from pump formula. It might have been that the pumps were so hard that my body just started to sweat with it. The beta tingles at 2.4 grams, really smooth, um, really consistent. They don't smack you in the face. They don't get you to itch your freaking face off or anything like that, but they're smooth. Um, overall, you do three sets instantly. You notice you've used something. There's no aspect of this where you're going, did I use something? Um, I made sure to drink a lot of water with this. So that's always my suggestion to any of my friends, any of the individuals that I've talked to online when they go, or is there anything specific you recommend when taking a pump product? Yes, drink a lot of water with it. Don't go dehydrated and take something which is assisted by water. It helps a lot. For me, it helps. I can feel the difference if I'm sipping through some water throughout my workout. I chuck this down with 500 mils of water, made sure to have water before that, went in there, got the workout done. All right, we've got the label, we've got the effects. Now, who's this for? As previously mentioned, this is for those individuals that are looking to get a good pump, feel like they're getting something great out of their workout, feel the contractions, and this is for also somebody that's a bit of a steam junkie and they want to not really just fry those receptors. They want to make sure they can pull back a bit, still use something, still get a good workout and get it done. 
the pumps were great, so it'll help you with that. The focus was a little bit there. I mean, look, you're not going to get any crazy focus. If you're using DMHA, if you're using freaking your himbine, if you're using DMAA, if you're using 400, you know, MG off caffeine, if you're using all these heavy, heavy fucking hitters, you're not really going to feel the, you know, 250 milligrams of focus ingredients. You're just not. But it's nice to have it there because you can feel a little bit of it. The rating that I would give this for the pumps, I would give this a solid four and a half out of five. If not even a five, like, I mean, I rate this up with Nova Neuro. It's very similar to that. Nova Neuro has a little bit more of that kick because they've prioritized a bit more focus in it. But for the pumps, I think I was getting hard at pumps with this. I mean, my muscles looked like, you know, actually look like I lift when I use this. When if you look at me now, you know, at 93, 94 kg, I don't really look like a muscular guy. I just look like a regular Joe. With this, I kind of look good. I was impressed, you know. Um, if I can, I'm going to throw in some video footage of that. I'm a bit new to YouTube, so I don't actually know how to do it. But um, yeah, look, overall, four and a half to five out of five for pumps. Fantastic. Flavor, decent. Almost no flavor. Chug it down. You're going to have no problems. And yeah, big shout out to Sephirosi for creating a product which wasn't designed to run off his name with shit ingredients under dose. This is actually a dose fucking pre-workout. You're getting something from this. This is even a pre-workout pump formula that I'll buy, that I'll use my money. So for that, I say good job. Hope this review was somewhat helpful. Hope you have a great day.